methodologies course this is a bridge course for practice school students the course is tailored for the needs of practice school students i will be going through briefly about the course content this is also intended to set the expectation about the course my name is manager i teach software testing methodologies as part of bits build program i have an industry background i have handled several software testing assignments in my career this is the course objective as outlined here this is supposed to benefit practice school students with computer science and ece background and give them knowledge on fundamentals of software testing in order to make them productive on the job right from day one essentially this is to make you industry ready software testing as a line of business is rapidly growing so this is our endeavor to make you industry ready the course contents are outlined here the first one is the importance of testing we talk from the aspect of the cost involved if you do not deliver a quality product or a product which is defect free and we also want to cover some basic terminologies so that you can use these terminologies consistently throughout your career we talk about a few testing techniques which are part of specification based testing or functional testing also known as black box testing and code based testing or structural testing so today's world we use specification based testing as the terminology for black box testing and code based testing as part of structural testing so we also take up a few examples and apply the concepts taught to these examples which in turn will give you a good orientation to take up other self study modules which are included as part of the course we cover several contemporary practices throughout your sessions that means if there is a testing techniques a contemporary aspect of our that testing techniques is covered right there instead of waiting for it to be taken up as a separate session so thus the contemporary practices are an integral part of your current sessions there is no separate module which is talk which is planned for teaching contemporary practices on these techniques which are covered we expect knowledge on software engineering concepts and also programming experience knowledge in these languages any one of them we also expect you to have not what we experience with linux environment or windows environment i chose to call this slide as how to taking the word from linux world so this word comes from the linux world i chose to adopt the same for explaining about the using the recorded contents which is available with you so we have put together this course from the available recorded digital content or i by which i mean the recorded lectures as part of bits digital library the recorded contents are on in the topic of software testing methodologies so we chose a few recorded lecture as part of this course instead of building a quick program for this particular course we have a large content so we wanted to make good use of the available content so the major main speaker for this course is professor joshi who handles software testing methodologies for wilp program 
we also make an emphasis on explanation of this methodologies and applying them for in the case studies as well as through your self study exercise this of course is an activity for you doing self study exercise makes you perfect so you have please learn this methodologies follow the sessions on applying this methodologies for real life examples as well as apply these methodologies to your self study exercise as before as already mentioned for in the previous slide contemporary practices are covered throughout the lecture sessions we have made one module as an optional item with the view taking a view that there may not be enough time to visit all the sessions which are planned for you one session we made optional which is the final session so if the time permits you can always come back and view this session as well yeah mcq examination or i would want to call it quiz is uh, added as the end of the course you are expected to take this mcq quiz this is the course layout the first is the first session which we are going through right now which is stepping through the contents of the course this is a reference or the index given to this recording content is rl 1.0 so that is what mentioned in the reference the first module which is module 1 is the basics which are covered as part of introduction to software testing so all the recorded contents the references are given like this rl 1.1 1.2 1.3 which you will be able to figure out when you actually start using these recorded content i have made this is of course a mandatory uh, sessions to be gone through there is a next small session which is rl 1.2 which we made it as an optional item for this reason this is a overview of the course so the speaker talks about the module content in terms of wilp program so wilp is a three credit course on software testing methodologies so naturally this coverage here will talk about the entire course content as offered for wilp program so that is not really required by you to go through this session so you can miss this part of the session and go from software testing to testing techniques quality is an integral part of software testing so you need to un understand what are the quality attributes which are covered as part of software testing and the other aspects of software testing as types of testing levels of testing like unit integration and what have you or part of this session and observe there is a self study material see this is also a recorded content this recorded content gives you a set of exercises or uh, material that you need to be working on applying the concepts which are covered as part of this session so that is uh, what is intended at the end of this ss the speaker will talk about those uh, details covered on the exercises and what is the expectations out of that so this is very beneficial i make this also mandatory so please go through the content and then uh, do the exercises as stated in the recorded content this is definitely a mandatory item i also request you to complete this session and complete the co complete the ss and then take a day off or something like that before you continue with the next session this way it will enhance your learning reflecting upon whatever you have learned during that session the next is a uh, session on specification based testing here we cover apart from the basics we also cover two specific techniques which are listed here equivalence class 
and boundary value analysis. They are a very simple techniques available for functional testing, but they are very widely used in the industry. So we need to introduce you to those techniques as early as possible. So that perhaps is our focus in introducing it at a early stage in this session. And there are examples of applying these techniques which are covered here to these uh, examples and case studies followed by a self-study material which is as in the earlier session M1. Here again this is a recorded content and the speaker will explain to you the details about the exercises. Please go through that very carefully and then complete the exercises as stated in the content. So this is again a mandatory item. Code based testing is a uh, testing techniques which uh, is more understood in the industry because programming is something that existed right from the inceptions of computers. So we talk about several techniques particularly two of them for this course which is one is called path testing. Path testing is a uh, coverage as based on the path that is followed through in the logic. So that is what is the coverage on path testing and there are a few examples of applying the path testing techniques. There is no self study which is a recorded session. However, the speaker talks about several coding examples because code based testing naturally take up code examples and uh, run through the testing techniques. So use this code to convert them to actual programs and make sure you understand the application of these testing techniques to your programs. This is again a mandatory uh, session. The next te testing techniques is data flow testing which is a uh, once again uh, code based testing technique. So here uh, we all are aware about the data flow in a program saying data gets defined, referenced. So observation of this flow of data is what gets covered as part of this data flow testing. And you have a metric example or a metric session. Metrics are nothing but measurements, measurements in terms of finding the effectiveness of your testing techniques. So that is very important from a quality perspective that is covered very briefly in this particular session which is mentioned here and as in other cases there are ample examples which are walked through and there is no self-study recorded material for this. Instead apply the examples which are taught in the class, convert it into programs and then make sure you understand the applicability of these techniques in the programs that you have written and this is again a mandatory element for your learning. This is the most important aspect of your learning. So this is application of all the technologies or techniques which we have learned in our earlier sessions to OO paradigms. Object orientation is, uh, is the paradigm we are talking about here. Currently all our applications fall under object orientation. So are these techniques very suitable in this environment or they are they a little older in terms of uh, consideration to object oriented environments. This is what you would be finding out when you go through these lecture sessions. So we start with challenges or issues in testing OVO software and applicability of the testing techniques you have learned so far. Things like that will get covered as part of issues in testing OVO software. Also, OVO software brings in its own uh, in, uh, inherent uh, attributes like polymorphism, inheritance, encapsulation, etc. So, what are the challenges or 
there for testing of OVO applications in the light of all these attributes. We confine ourselves to OVO unit testing only for our discussion. That is, uh, would give you a good coverage for OVO testing. Here there, is, there are no recorded content as far as self-study is concerned. Instead, you can use the examples which are covered as part of this uh, module and then uh, make sure these concepts are well applied in your programs. This is an optional mod model mo module which we already talked about. There is one optional module which is the final module. This talks about other test cycle, life cycle models. So we talk about Agile Scrum models and their use in the industry. So this we have made it into optional because we think uh, the coverage for uh, which we do up till this point of time takes you almost 7 hours of listening and you also have almost 6 to 7 hours of work to do through self-study. So it is uh, quite likely that you may not really have the time to visit this uh, module. If you do find the time, please come back and listen to the recordings here. So I made it optional with respect to whatever way you want to handle this. There are additional exercises which are available through a PDF file which is uh, additional self-study material. This has got exercises on each of the testing technologies taught, namely the boundary value analysis, equivalence class partitioning, path flow, path based testing, data flow testing, etc. We have just covered only one or two exercises for each of these technologies. So it is, uh, if you do these additional exercises, that will enhance your learning better. <coughs> So throughout these lectures, you will have mentioned about several concepts about modern algebra like sets or classes, domains, graph theory, uh, complexity, cyclomatic complexity, etc. So these are some concepts you may be aware as part of your uh, learning in your curriculum. So if you, I would also suggest you can revisit these uh, concepts prior to taking this session. So, but uh, if you are well aware of these uh, concepts, you should not be finding it very difficult to follow, three, follow through these sessions. So, this pretty much covers what we have to do. So, uh, that is the entire content of this course. The course handout will give you those uh, web access links for the recorded content. The login credentials as, as per the BITS policy, you may already be aware of this and you also must be already using a lot of these recorded content. If you have any other questions, please contact your administrator in your location. This is hosted at Bits Takshila site. So that covers pretty much what I have to say. Happy learning. Thank you for your time. Good luck.